Hey everyone, welcome back to another singing video here on YouTube. <coughs> I'm getting down to the end of this here CD that I've been working on for so long now. <coughs> Finally got to the last song. And what I'm actually going to do today, <coughs> since I've already done the version of the song that's on this CD, this song is called As Long As I Live, and the version of it was by Johnny Cash and Emmylou Harris, but I've already done that version on a video before, <coughs> so I thought I would... What I thought I would do is I would uh, <coughs> do the very first version of this song that I ever heard, <coughs> which is by George Jones and Gene Pitney, <coughs> that came out in 1965 <coughs> uh, on the Columbia label in Canada. <coughs> it was a B-side of a record called Mockingbird Hill, <coughs> produced by Pappy Daly, who was George Jones's producer going all the way back to his very first recordings with Starday Records back in 1954. <clears throat> Pappy Daly was one of the co-founders of Starday Records <clears throat> with uh, Jack Starnes. <clears throat> Took the two names Starnes and Daly and combined them into Starday and made the name of the label. <clears throat> so he produced this record. <clears throat> and a little interesting information about the uh, songwriter of As Long As I Live. <clears throat> uh, when I looked up the Google lyrics for this song, <clears throat> They gave the songwriters as Harold Arlen and Ted Kohler. And I thought, that's weird, because those are Broadway musical songwriters. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. <clears throat> and then when I looked at the record itself, picture of the record itself on a YouTube video, <clears throat> it had Roy Acuff as the writer. And I thought, well, that makes a lot more sense. This sounds like something that Roy Acuff would have written and sung. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go with that. Roy Acuff is the writer of this song. <clears throat> this, uh song was never a single, it was on an album <coughs> called It's Country Time Again on Musicore Records, which was the label of both George Jones and Gene Pitney at the time when they recorded this song, which was in July of 1965. It was recorded at Columbia Studio in Nashville. <coughs> the album was also known by another name, George Jones and Gene Pitney, recorded in Nashville. <coughs> so the same album by two different names, interesting too. <coughs> George Jones, of course, is a legend in country music. He was born in 1931 in Texas, died in 2013 at the age of 81 from hypoxic respiratory failure. He made 649 records between 1954 and the last record that was released on him was in 2021, according to this website that I use, 45 Cat. <laughs> and 487 of those records were solo, just himself. Gene Pitney was born in 1940 in Connecticut. He died in 2006 at the age of 66 from a heart attack while he was on tour in the UK. He was in Wales, and uh, his uh, manager found him dead in his uh, hotel room in Wales while he was on tour. He had performed a show that night and uh, <coughs> unfortunately passed away <coughs> too young, I guess only 66. He made 599 records between 1959 and the last record on him that was released was in 2017. And 577 of those were solo, and he made eight records with George Jones. Seven of those in 1965 and one in 1986. So, I guess I should sing it now. <laughs> George Jones and Gene Pitney with As Long As I Live. <clears throat> Oh, 
You're the only joy that I ever had. As long as I live, if it be one hour, or if it be one hundred years, I'll keep remembering forever and ever. I love you dear as long as I live. I love you dear as long as I live. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! <laughs> wow, that was fun. George Jones and Gene Pitney. 1965. As long as I live. Wow. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed that. <laughs> Got my little insides cleared right out doing that song. Alrighty, well, <clears throat> I should be back on here sometime around, maybe Sunday. <clears throat> Not quite sure yet, but it'll be at least Sunday before I do my next video. And uh, it's going to be off of a whole new CD now, <clears throat> which I told, told you guys last time it was probably going to be starting a new one, but I decided to do that little song there first, so uh, next time I'll be starting this one here. Another big old CD with 19 songs. Some of these I've done before, so <clears throat> I'll have to count up and see how many I got left to do. But we'll have another run at it next time on maybe Sunday. Well, <clears throat> have a good day. Thanks for listening and watching. Have a good one. Bye now. <clears throat>